Hello guys and welcome to another vlog and another game day. We're going to play three games in six days. I'm going to show you another game day, another game. Not the way I wanted to end this vlog. Hello guys and welcome to another vlog and another game day so today we're playing against Trusa Vanghera away so we're going to take the bus from Hanveden in about 45 minutes so I have to leave here in about 15. Anyway I have eaten some breakfast some porridge I packed my bag so everything should be packed and ready for the trip and finally we're playing a league game the league is starting up again today and Trusa haven't taken a point in the first part of the season however you know that these team eventually they will take a point or three so we always have to be ready last time we played them it was in the season premiere we won 5-1 and hopefully we can play that good again anyway don't gonna focus too much about the opponents gonna focus on us our play our team how we're going to play this game so i'm going to prepare the last thing right now and then i'm going to leave Come on, 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 come on,
So the idea of this vlog was in the beginning to show you how I recover after a game, the day after a game in particular. And that day is today, so I was thinking of going to the gym, do a bit of cycling, stretching, mobility. But here's the thing, I got a message from the coach this morning. He wanted me to play in the reserve team for a game tomorrow. And that is because the other goalkeeper, he's currently on vacation. He's coming home a bit later than the others. So instead of showing you how I recover the day after a game, I'm going to show you another game day, another game, so that will be tomorrow. Right now I'm going to watch the game we played yesterday against Trusa Vanghera. I'm going to watch it and analyze it, but I have to say claiming the cross I did in the last second of the game, just before he blew the whistle, we had a lead 2-1, uh, that's a big confidence boost. And when you do and just catch it and then go down to the ground that's a great feeling and i think every keeper can understand it and also a little bit of a payback for me for causing a penalty in the first half it's a 50 50 chance i'm getting there a bit late and i know that i thought to myself just like punch the ball to the side because if i go ball first then it's not a pen and that's what i did punch the ball or deflected the ball away from him but in that moment he collapsed over me and the referee called it a pen i won't blame him i was late in the duel and i can see what the referee said it was a pen So as I said, I'm playing with the reserves team today because the other keeper is still on vacation. And in the team playing today, we've got a few players from the first team that didn't play so much this weekend. And also I think they're going to bring up a few U19 players. The game is against Ingeda at home and there is a league system in the backup league. And at the moment, Ian Schede is topping that league with six out of six wins, I think. But this backup league is mainly to give the players that didn't play in the league game that weekend. And I think that's great because that means that even if you're on the bench, you can get a game. And these games are almost like friendly. I know it's a league table, but, but they should be seen as games where you can improve, play without pressure and just focusing on having fun out on the pitch. Right now, the clock is 10.38 and I need to be in the locker room at 6 p.m. So I got the full day to prepare myself and do other things. And right now I'm going to answer a few comments on the last video and then plan out this week because our league game is on Friday. So you have to change a few things with your sessions. So I'm going to plan out this week and then I'm probably going to start editing this video a little bit. The weather isn't the best today. It was a rainstorm last night and it looks like it's going to start to rain any second now. So we're probably going to see some rain towards the afternoon or this evening. I decided to go for a 30 minutes walk. On Mondays I usually do a gym session, but obviously as you know I got a game today so I can't do any gym. I suppose I could have done a 40 minutes football session very light because as I said this game is almost like a friendly game. However, I have to think about the fact that I'm going to play three games in six days. So as you know, I played Saturday, I played today, Monday, and then next game on Friday. So you have to be smart so you don't tire out your body too much. And so you're able to perform as good as possible for the games. So I haven't done so much the last couple of hours after I got home and ate some lunch. I watched some football on the TV. I went out with my dog. And now I will be watching this documentary on Netflix called Quarterback. I watched the first two episodes and it's a good series. I always love those series where they show the inside of some professional athletes, or in this case, quarterbacks in the NFL. Oh, 
Not the way I wanted to end this vlog. First off, as I said, I saw this game as a friendly game, a opportunity to try new things and experiment a little bit, but it's never funny to lose a game and to make mistakes. Obviously, I started this channel to show you the ups and downs in football, as I've talked about multiple times. Now you have to be a bit grateful that this mistake didn't happen in a league game. Obviously every game is important but some games are more important than others. But as I said I wanted to get out of my comfort zone a little bit in this game. So with the fourth goal the mistake I'm talking about. Obviously if it was a league game I would just kick the ball with as much power as possible, getting it as far away as possible. But I wanted to try, I saw my center back just behind him. So I wanted to give the ball a little pass in the air, but it came off the wrong part of my foot. And instead I hit their player and the rest, you know. I wanted to try something and I took the decision. Then the outcome wasn't the best and you learn from that. Then the third goal, Beautiful ball from the goalkeeper. I think he get an assist from that one. Our center back goes up for the duel and he misses the ball. And in that moment, I'm backing up to my goal. So I can't go out for it. And their attacker goes one on one and managed to score. Maybe could have tried to stay high up and not fall back too early. But that's football, you can't dig your head too deep down into the pit. Sometimes you make mistakes and sometimes you get to redeem yourself and make something good in that game after your mistake. And sometimes you make mistakes and don't make another save after that. But the important thing is to let it go as fast as possible, focus on the next play. You won't get everything perfect all the time. And that's the life of a footballer, that's the life of a goalkeeper.